What's up, everybody? And welcome back to the reality game with the real and reality or whatever. Per- <laughs> <laughs> I'm Yo Sparrow. We are talking about one of those Lee. How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing so well. Um, this is just a sad episode. I- I'm sad that Kellyanne went home. Mother was robbed. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sad that Kellyanne went home. Bored of Tori Ann. Bored of Jordan Ann. Bored of Casey Ann. And Danny and Sarah Lord. gave in. This was a cute. This was, gave in. It was a lot of ands I didn't like. But I think the episode was cute or whatever. I'm just tired of seeing the same ugly face, sis. <sighs> like if I wanted to see them that much, I would have been. I would have went to the wedding. And then if you and if you peeping, like, and if you know. and if you peeping the spoilers for the USA too, you know that a certain face is still gonna be seen for some time to come. And it's like it's honestly to the point where they won. They forced her down up. Tori, 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 babe, you got it. We are Victoria stands over here. You got it, babe. Honestly, I don't understand why Danny is trying to fight her on um it's just ridiculous. her decisions. I mean, she's yeah. the legend. Danny, get in your place. You only won yeah. once, literally, barely. That you ain't sound. I can't even do it. I cannot yeah. sound this stupid. I'm sorry. Because why do like I did not understand there was a there was a section of challenge fans. Some of y'all be in our comments dragging us. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not going to stand dinosaurs. Y'all sitting here standing the same people every season that's been playing for 50 years. Even when I was a challenge fan, I mean, in the golden era, when the seasons were actually good, I never liked bananas in them. So why the fuck would I like his old ass now? I didn't like him then. I don't like him now. I went back and watched the older, older seasons when he was actually young. Didn't like him then. Damn. I'm not going to like the nigga. Now, Tori, Tori was never like I her. liked her on Are You the One. I never liked her. I liked her when she got on the challenge because, you know, I love rooting for the rookies. Not on the challenge. But Mamas then became a legend and she acting like them. She always acted like them to me. Never liked them. So, I mean, I'm here. I'm here. Don't like Jordan. Jordan, I think Jordan really just shows his ass. He's very arrogant and it's not cute. It's it's boring, honestly, and weird. This whole episode is being weird. Let's get into it. We start off with Casey boring ass. Why does she keep coming back? Quit inviting her. <laughs> the Lord, she said she no. Keep she keep getting saved. The last season, her and her brother caught COVID, left, got to come back. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that was in the goddamn in the room, guidelines. Right? Well, I don't know if it's COVID. Allegedly, it's COVID. I think it was COVID. I saw an argument that said it was COVID. But why else would she leave and come back? It was something. It was a bit. And now she's here. And now, and now, know, Amber again, again, and again. gave her a spot Gave her. like the generous queen she is. And it's like we don't need her boring ass. We don't. I'm sorry. Same. Love you, Casey. You're a great. I would have rather uh, Nani, honestly. I would rather Nani. Somebody interesting. But anyways, Casey boring ass is here. She says, "I know my girly pops are Jordan and Tori, even though she voted for them. Don't give a fuck about them like that. But those are her girls, allegedly. Mm-hmm. And yes, or Emily are sketchy because, yeah." Mind you, they at the club. Why are they at the club? I don't know. I was like, at the club. Like, I was like, why is this in the club at the beginning of the episode? This feels this weird. Who would be at the club? No. They're at the club. They're not really, they had a really stress. They cooped up in their house. Tori and Danny <laughs> talk. And basically, they're trying to hash out their problems. Like, look, we know mm-hmm. we're not, whatever. We're, oh, we're, my God. Why do I have yeah. written in my notes Tori and Devin chat? Oh, my God. Uh, you have PTSD. <laughs> <laughs> it was Danny. But it anyways, was Danny. They're, trying yeah. they're trying to come to a conclusion because Tori's like, look, you know, I know y'all fucking with Emily. Yes, and I'm fucking with Jordan. I just feel like we need to be on the same page because we with each other, we see each other. And Danny was like, okay, girl. Because mm-hmm. it's like, they flash back to how many times they argued and it's like, I'm bored. Like, I'm not trying to argue with you every fucking day. Yeah. I'm not, we're not even arguing about nothing. Yeah. Gives a fuck. And then Danny has a confession. He basically feels like uh, uh, Tori's allies, like Casey and Jordan, like if people don't target them, then they'll try to go after... Um, him and, and him and Tori, 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 which is very possible because I feel like I would definitely try to get Tori out. <laughs> you and Danny, you just—I mean, you can go too. Um, so I agree. Jordan has a diary room, and he's like, "Danny and Sarah are doing all they can to, to not vote Emily in." Yes, and it's like it's just fucking up the alliance. Like, guys, we're in alliance together, even though I don't know you nor talk to you. I'm in alliance with you guys. Why that, this this I, pissed me off. This is like, one of the many no. confessionals that pissed me the fuck off about Jordan. So, like, what is this sense of? Entitlement, y'all have like you're with us, so you need to stand with us. This, what the fuck? What? I'm no. not with y'all. I'm Maybe, with the, my thing is, my Jordan son, isn't even in t- Team USA. So, what is Team UK? So, what, I, why would I? Why would why would Danny and Sarah from the United States give a fuck about Cass and Jordan, who they never have fucking met? 
Why the fuck would they give a fuck about y'all? Mm-hmm. So in Jordan's mind, Sarah and Danny are going against this alliance of him. Darrell's included in that too. He includes Darrell in that because when he makes his plan, the plan doesn't involve getting Darrell out. He's like, everyone else is working with us. So in Jordan's mind, him, Darrell, Tori, Theo, um, and uh, oh, I already said Tori. Boom, they're all working together. So Tor- so Sarah and Danny need to get, get with that program. That's the group of people that we're all working with. Bitch, you're working with those people. They don't know those people. They don't know you, nigga. Why the fuck would they give a fuck? <laughs> they don't know you. And it's weird. Because and then they get mad. Speaking, like, I don't understand they why they get mad. Like, like oh, it's, it's a given. Like, why are you not just listening to what we want to do? Like, I don't know you. Who are you? <laughs> like, God, it's pissing me off. They don't know you, nigga. Why the fuck would they give a fuck? Go home, Roger. <laughs> and that's the sad thing. Home. Is he not going home? <sighs> why not? Tristan and Cass talk, and Tristan has a diary room. And he's like, "Look, I mean, all my allies are going, but me and Cass, we were literally on the same season. We both from the UK, so we're both to one together. together. Like, we need to link up." So he's telling Cass, "He's like, girl, you're a little bit too late for that. I think this should have been uh, he solidified." Late to party, he late to the party because they never been working together like that. It's like, why not? Because Kellyanne and Jordan, they know each other too. Might as well. Mm-hmm. But hey, they have not been working together. But Tristan was like, "Girl, we need to get together." And Cass's response showed me how she was thinking because mm-hmm. she was like, "Well." If there's ever a time we have to vote each other in, I'll just let you know. That's what she gave. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what she said. And it's like, well, now I know you're a dummy because there should never be a time. There is never a point <laughs> in this game where you should want to vote in Tristan. One, mm-hmm. because he's from UK and he's the only nigga you know. Two, because they're the arguably the weakest team left. Who the fuck yeah. else would you be saving? Tori? And Danny? Jordan Dallas. Jordan Zala, and, and, and then and then she chooses to lie. No, unpromptedly. See, you, no one you, asked. you you'll notice this. Someone who 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 is lying or is actually gonna do the thing, they'll say it out loud for you. Because she goes, you know, people just assume that because I'm with Jordan that he's just gonna run the show and he's just gonna make the decision. But that's not the case. Like we're gonna work together. All. We're a team, and it's like no, babe. No, you babe. know you're not a team. And she knew that you're shit. Not a team. She knew that shit. She was trying to convince herself. People do that to convince themselves. He didn't even ask. He didn't even ask. He was just like, hey, do what you have to do. Like, I hope we can work together. She was like, yeah, no, because Jordan, he doesn't run me. Mm-mm, no. Like, that told me she already knew what he was. She, she knew she, she couldn't save his ass. And she should have just told him, mm-hmm. like, I'm sorry. I'm Jordan's going to do whatever Jordan decision. says. It does not matter. No so, matter what you say to me, she should have just straight up told you him. Should, Look, you should be talking you shouldn't to Jordan. Be ta- right? I was just gonna say that you shouldn't be talking to me. You go talk to Jordan because he runs the past in this goddamn uh, relationship. He runs and I, me. And, I, and, I, and I've talked about tribe. this. Like, I've talked about this before. I don't get yeah. that. We see this so many times when it's the female and male pairs. The male pair, the male and the pair, usually just takes talks to the whole entire team. We see it a lot, a lot with rookie women. That rookie women mm. come in and they just. Stop come to come to the uh to the uh vet men. Fuck mm. them men. They don't know shit. Okay, they no. may know something, but like you have your own game. You have your own game. And I think that's what's just so annoying to me. Like you have your own game, so play it. Like, why are you Literally. scared? You see what I'm saying? It's just it's a, it, it's just there ain't no reason Tristan Tristan Kelly and should have went in on Kaz's behalf. That's the only person you know. Dead ass. Him and Theo. And we'll see how that happens next. What what goes on with that next episode? Girl, next, um, we get a scene, and it's Kiki and Kellyanne. They're in an alliance. Their alliance has been decimated because Amber done went home. They were like, damn, it just sucks. If only the Amber didn't go home, we would be okay right now. But she did, so we fucked. And Kiki, she got a real sentimental with Kellyanne. She's like, I think I just see myself in you. Like, we're we're the same. Like, we yeah. both bad bitches, period. I Basically. love them together. They really are the, the low-key. They're the baddest bitches in the house. Kaz getting ran. I was, oh, I'm going to say, like, Sarah. I was gonna say they can't be true because Janae, but Janae not no more, they're, they're not there no more. And then I was like, mm-hmm. Naya, but Naya gone. Nah, it's gone. And offers mm-hmm. Sarah, Kellyanne, and Kiki are the only bad bitches because yeah. everybody. Else I like Emily. Friends. I like Emily. She doesn't just it's, give it's me few, up. It's a few good queens in here. Mm-hmm. That's an Olympian. That's not a bad. Kiki bitch. and Kellyanne are are those girls. Right. I'm sorry. Yeah. I stand. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and Kiki has a diary. She talks about how being on the challenge. She was just there to show people she's just not a cute. A pretty face, which she mm. is, period, and also a bad bitch. And she was like, and then I realized I'm also that girl. Like, other than just not being a pretty face, I'm that girl because she survived domestic violence. She went through a lot in her life, and she was like, this just made me feel like, like I'm that girl. And mm. it's like, you are. Like, it's I'm totally glad you know it. for her. Like the baddest bitch. She, she wasn't fooling. And they don't call me that for nothing. And she's like, I sure, I'm sure. 
Period. And then she won this daily. She ended up not the daily. The uh, arena. Because she, she lost it. She actually. lost the daily. <laughs> the dumbass daily. Let's get to the dumbass daily. <laughs> this daily was so right. Girl, this daily, the, the purpose of this daily was to promote Transformers. It was because the concept didn't make no damn sense. It like and to rig it for Jordan. I think it's oh, rigged for Jordan. You no, guys why is it rigged for Jordan? Because this was just so e- you telling me you quick to call the challenge producers rigged. Yeah. That ass. You, you think the challenge producers be rigging? Yeah, that's why they had the a specific select few people on the CBS challenge. Oh. On the USA challenge. Challenge USA. Oh. 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 So I think this was rigged <laughs> for Jordan because it was just first of all, it was not competitive for real. Like this is it's not something that someone can mess up on. No one really messed up. Mm-hmm. So it's like, I can't, how do I know that Jordan won? There's nothing to decipher that. Anyway, well, all you, you know, jump, jump produ- I trust the producers. I think they gave us accurate times. They didn't give us any times. Oh, oh. Hmm. <laughs> the challenge is, it's going to be a truck. You got to jump from one truck to the other, grab the key, jump back, unlock the key, and then the other person has to drive. My thing is, how could you? How this can you nothing. decide? It's, it's hard to decide nothing. because everyone's in the same doom buggy. And that's the thing. Even if someone wins, you could just say the doom buggy was faulty when they went. Like I don't see how you can really determine who did the best. Mm-hmm. Like it could just be the doom buggy like spattered on one time that someone went. It's yeah, because like, I will say like it doesn't. They, I mean, depending on the speed of the trucks, like it was a lot of things going into getting across like, that line. It was. I, I like, like couldn't the trucks be a half an inch farther when they went versus when they went, and then boom? Like it just it didn't get fair at all. I don't know what the fuck they did to measure this. But girl, we go. Um, well, it said it said all of it was separated by seconds, which is why it's stupid. That means anybody could have win. It had nothing to do with skill or the quality of player that they are. Oh, that's how they wanted it to be. They did because they wanted to rig for Jordan to win. <laughs> Well, they did. Why would they need to rig? For they Jordan? wanted it to be as ambiguous as possible. Why did they need to rig for Jordan? Because he could have could have went home, and then that would have been bananas. And how, how and he could have went home? Literally, so many people are talking to him. Sarah, want, Sarah, and Danny have been talking about if they win the challenge, they're making sure that nigga goes to it, and that could have happened. And they would not want that because bananas just went home what two episodes ago, and Wes is gone. Jordan's their last it girl. Because what the fuck is Tori doing? <laughs> Uh, I don't think they want Jordan to go home. Jordan goes home with a bunch of people who they do not see as valuable contenders to represent the challenge. So they want one of them to at least make it to the end, which is why I know West or Bananas is making it to the end of the Challenge USA next season. Stay tuned for that. Girl, not you cracking the conspiracy. Girl, is it conspiracy or truth? Anyways, the challenge goes. <laughs> there was one scene. When Emily and Yes go, Emily goes and she's the one driving the Doom Buggy. And when she gets to the end of the finish line, the Doom Buggy rolls, bitch. Yeah. Like go four or five times. And then when it stops, she's like, ah! <laughs> so I'm thinking, this, I I'm she thinking the girl gone. gone. I'm thinking her back, bro. She got to go to the hospital or something. And then they get over there and she's standing up. I'm like, oh. She just did that real quick. I was like, okay, girl, okay you're good. And she's that was like, like, it was just whiplash. Like, okay, yeah, what whiplash like, do? Okay. <laughs> boom everybody else go it didn't look like anyone was jumping in my in, that thing even when jordan jumped over it looked like he like stuttered a little bit like he didn't even go that smoothly like he jumped he grabbed the key almost dropped it grabbed it again went back over so i was like doesn't look like anyone just ate it up but just so happened jordan and cast one i guess i don't know what that t is um and the last team by some seconds was kiki and Darrell. boom Kinks. <laughs> Uh, Keith and Darrell are automatically going in. Jordan and Kaz won. This was a dumbass challenge. Don't ever do this shit again. If you got to purport, promote Transformers, do something. Like, and mind you, mind you, they just put God. they just put a Transformer symbol on a big ass four wheeler bitch, like eighteen wheeler bitch. You remember like, the challenge where they had to be in the Doom buggies and they had to pop each other's balloons on the challenge USA? Yeah, they should just did that or something like something that, that actually yeah. was that like what the fuck was this? I I don't believe it. You didn't trick me. You wanted Jordan win. He got his win. Later on, <laughs> um, Kellyanne, she's talking to MLA. And yes, and Kellyanne is just something else. Something because else. Because basically, she went up to Emily, yes, who she's been voting all season. And she was like, I mean, you guys would just, I know y'all friends with Sarah, but could y'all just vote Sarah? And Emily was like, like <laughs> okay. It was like, I mean, I'm not voting Sarah. I would rather do Troy and Casey. I'd rather do Troy and, and Casey. And then what's hilarious about Kellyanne is that she just gets stumped. Like, <laughs> we saw, I thought we saw this with Tristan when he was talking about staying. Like, once mm-hmm. someone says something that goes against what she's saying, she's like, 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Okay, we we'll swore respond. from that, Kelly. But it's like clearly she uh, she starts off with a bad foot. Because why you mention that Sarah is her closest ally? Everyone knows that Sarah and Emily are butt buddies. What what the fuck? Like it doesn't even make sense, Kelly. And then Emily had a diary room, and she was like, "This girl has voted me in multiple times. <laughs> like what is she even it? talking to right why now? Even come to me. So <laughs> not gonna happen." Kellyanne, and I love it from her because she, you know, she needed to stay. She needed to do something. <laughs> and then she goes to the next worst Case, person. Case, why Case is Case she Case. going? Why is she? My thing. <laughs> and she's asking them about their closest allies. It's right. That, that's what's hilarious. Out of everyone you could have went to, you went to the people's closest ally. Like, this is immediately going straight to them. <laughs> and she do not even feel safe. She's just like, so she goes to Casey. And Troy, and she's like, so what y'all doing? You know, would you would you be interested in doing Sarah and uh and, and Tori? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry because Kelly is hilarious. Like, what? <laughs> and Katie was like, Kelly is is an interesting character because she's playing the game. <laughs> but it's like, okay, <laughs> like sure. So what? I don't know what she was thinking. Then she goes to yes again. <laughs> So it's her and Tristan, they're talking to yes. And she's like, look, I mean, I know y'all can't say Sarah. So instead, do you think you say Casey and Tori? Are you oh. Because what was she thinking? <laughs> and then yes, it was kind of like, I'm going to have to think about it. And Kelly kind of got a little irritated. She was like, I mean, okay. And then he leaves. And Tristan was like, I mean, you could be a little nicer when you're asking the question. She said, well, I don't care. <laughs> she's like, she's like, well, I do, and we're a team. What the hell? She's like, these are my relationships, and I will talk who I want. Gag. <laughs> I love Kelly Ann so much. And it's like, I'll take it. I love Kelly. Like, who are you talking to, bitch? I'm the legend. Period. <laughs> After this, we get. Oh, Kelly, love Kelly. No, that was a good laugh, y'all. That was a good, was good laugh. laugh. It was like a bunch of scenes of her. <laughs> Doing shit. Like, oh, I, I remember this in my head because it's so <laughs> hilarious. Like you really went to their closest allies. Like you might as well went and told them, hey, who do you think will vote you in so I can go talk to them? <laughs> you would have had a better chance to do that. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like she and it was oh, hilarious shit. too was I think what makes it even funnier <laughs> if you go back Tristan is just next to her yes just standing there not every doing time. anything he just like and then when he decides to speak up I don't care <laughs> <laughs> oh Ooh. my god okay boom after this I guess since bananas went home I don't know Jordan is now talking to the Team USA people when it's like he's not even on Team USA. So I guess he's taking the reins to try to tell people what to do. Because uh, So Jordan is talking to Team USA, Tori, Sarah, Danny. Um, it's the four of them talking. The big four. They're the big score. The big four. And Jordan was like, look, this is the plan. We need to split up Darrell from Kellyanne. So what we can do is this round, agree that Kellyanne can go. Kellyanne and Tristan need to go to split them up. And then next round, we need to get out Emily and Yes, because everyone else is working with us. Everyone else, meaning Casey and Darrell, are going to work with them, not mm -hmm. Emily and Yes. Um, Jordan, maybe with you. But and I think, I think, I think. And, and, and Danny is Emily and Yes. So... Mm. And I think that's what's hilarious, because like, Jordan, you have nothing to do with this. Like, uh -oh. Danny's Who with are you? and Sarah's with Theo. Nigga, why are you even talking to us? Who You're on the UK. You? <laughs> like, but also, I think what's crazy about this, too, is that, um, like, it just goes to show, like, the politicking is not actual anything next to strategy. You're going to tell these people, you know, uh, we, won't, we won't attack your allies this week, but you got to owe us one by, by voting them out next week. Why would they do that? Like, okay, sure, Dan. Like, like you coming to them so so okay, we're working and together what? and we won't take out your allies this week, but next week because you gotta do it. How and then, you... I, I I bet you Tori and Jordan are gonna be pissy mad if they don't. Like, they don't get it. Like this is the game. You have no integrity. You are snakes. You don't know how to play. What is this? Because <laughs> they're expecting Sarah and Danny to instead of voting Casey and Troy, who they don't know, no, or at Kiki all, and Darrell, who they, who don't they know, do not know, they should vote Emily and Yes. 
the people that they've been who aligned with been this entire with time. People. And then, ooh, and thank like, you for what? saying that because this is what pisses me off, right? Right. Um, well, I'm gonna skip around because he kind of yeah. says this around in this because he mentions like I understand Cavs will be upset about Tristan going yep. this round, but not everyone can go with you to the final. Right. Ain't that what you bitches do? That's what y'all trying to do time? every fucking time. This is what you're trying to do right now. He's trying to in, in, make sure your friends, the friends, people you know, make which is Casey, party. um, Tori, Theo, and, and Theo, and Darrell. Like all the people you know, that's what you're doing. So, but it's an issue if Cass does it. It's an issue if Danny and Sarah want it. That pisses me off. I don't mind. I don't mind. Like, just yeah, say is, I want my friends to the end. Just like, tell just them, own it. Just, just say own I'm not it. voting Casey or Darrell. So what are y'all gonna do? But Back don't Sarah don't gaslight them and That's say you're and don't gaslight them and say they're playing a terrible game. They don't know how to play the challenge because you don't want them to go to the end with their friends. You go to the end with your friends all the time. Why can't they? It just doesn't make any goddamn sense. And That's I was getting I was getting kind of sad because like Danny and Sarah, like they were like, I mean, I'm down. Like Sarah was like, <laughs> they were I'm here for Danny. Like I came here with him. I want to go to the end with him, so we good. I was like, oh Lord, Danny and Sarah are giving in. Like no, mm-hmm. and Sarah had confession. She's like. <laughs> I ain't I'm doing not that voting shit. <laughs> she said, she said, Sarah <laughs> Survivor you know winner. Sarah Survivor winner said, I will tell them what they want to hear and I'll do what the fuck is. I want. Because I exactly, like if someone tells you, like, they don't get anything out of this. You're telling me, well, well, we'll work with you and we'll keep your ally safe, but we'll get them next round. Okay. What? For what? And then there's no point. There's no reason. For them to not just vote Jordan. What the fuck is Jordan staying doing for them? There's no there's no point for allies anymore. It's top six, babe. It's about who can beat you in the final. Jordan needs to fucking go. Period. We'll see if that works. Boom. Um, that was the last conversation. Then we went to the vote. At the vote, it went pretty smoothly. They all decided that Tori and Danny were going to go in. They did rock, paper, scissors. They lost. Boom. Yeah. Tori and Danny are being voted in against Kellyanne and Tristan. Of course, Jordan and Kaz won, so they're going to send Kellyanne and Tristan in. But... When we get to the conversation between Jordan and Cass, girl, they see the nominees, and here go Cass. Mind y'all, because we were just saying Jordan's talking to Team USA, and it's like my first thing to is go talk to Team UK, but he's plotting against Team UK. He wants Team UK to go home, and it's like okay, I don't know. And girl, here go Cass, frighteningly so. I mean, is there any way? You know, um, Tori and Danny. Mind you, he shook his head as soon as she started talking, and she kept going. Is um anyway, Danny and Tori um can go in because you know they're a strong threat, and um <laughs> you just and it's like, girl, head. why are you asking? It would it would have the the noms if I was cast, the noms would have popped up, and I would have looked at him and I said, so we're voting Tori and Danny, of course, and he would have got mad. And he would just have to be mad. I don't give a fuck if we go in. Mm-hmm. I'm not voting Tristan. I, I think what's annoying about this whole entire situation is like she acts like she is like it's like don't don't why do you feel like your side of the team does not matter? Like you both won. It's both yeah. of your win. You don't have to you don't have yeah. to submit to him at all. And why does yeah. he act like he has the he, final fucking say in it? This gonna sound bad, but she genuinely clearly feels like she is of no value. She does not feel like she has any value in this team because later on she's angry that Jordan decided this, which in my mind shows that she genuinely thinks she had no decision. She which genuinely feels like she Jordan had no power. decide like, anything. Y'all are a team. It's 50-50. You were half of the vote. Bitch, you could have said, I'm not doing it. Period. And then what? Either, so I guess I would have went in. And I would have went in. And I think in her mind, she's like, well, Jordan genuinely doesn't care to go in. So it would be scary. Like, he doesn't well, care. I guess we're beating Kelly and Tristan tonight. I guess we're going to have to be. Oh, Darrell and Kiki. Darrell and Kiki. We will be going in. I don't give a fuck. Cass, you should, Cass shouldn't care. She just won. You got the money. You'll be back. Like, I don't know if it was me. And, like, and that's what Jordan, I think that's how Jordan feels. Jordan's like, I mean, I don't give a fuck. I'm not saying to her, we'll go in and I'll come back next week right. and win, which he will. Um, and I guess Cass doesn't necessarily have that privilege. She's only returned one time. She doesn't know that she'll get another call. She could genuinely just be like, well, fuck, I don't want to go in. It's kind of like he's threatening her in a way. Because if she does go against it, they could go in, they could go home. And Cass could never get a call back ever in the rest of her life. And she could never get this money that she could potentially, well, she might get this season. Because she does have Jordan. So it's like, I don't know. It sucks because Jordan knows he's coming back. Cass does not know she's coming back. 
So this could be the one. But time I, I, get this I, I money. hate that. I, 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 is that? And I guess that's the whole challenge lore of it now. Like, are we doing things to come back? You're doing things to come yeah. back for another season. Yeah. Play this but season. Thing, but that thing forecast to play this season, she kind of has to not go in. And if Jordan is like, he's willing to go in, it's a threat because she's not willing to go in. She needs to get this money to live. He's gonna get the money. He can come back next season and next season, next season. He's good. So it's like she's kind of in a. I guess that's a good place. point. It's just annoying. It's just yeah. annoying. I think the whole situation is annoying because we always. I feel like we always see this. Like we see this a lot. Yeah. It's like one person in the team just gets overlooked, and it's almost always the woman. And, and that's why you should. I feel like that's why. That's the problem with this bringing back the legends because they have an unfair advantage because Tori and Jordan know they're coming back every season. They don't have to play like this is their last time playing. Danny doesn't know he's getting a callback. Kaz doesn't know she's getting a callback. It's not fair to them because now they can't be like, well, we'll just go, even though Danny has been saying it, I'll just go in. Um, but he got that money, honey. He was a professional football player. But Kaz, she doesn't have that. She can't say, well, I'm not going in. I'm not, you know, fuck it. We just can go in, just throw us in. She can't really say that because she might want the money. You know, she might want to win. But Jordan, he knows he's coming back. He's good. It's an advantage. So that's fucked up. But, guys, you should just say something. It might be me. But, hey, that's just me. She could have just wanted to win. She could have just been like, well, if we go in and we lose, we're out. And I want to win. I get it. Boom. So we get I to know. the arena. We get to the arena. We get to the vote. Kaz votes Tristan and Kellyanne, and she tries to do this bullshit apology when she votes for them. She's like, I'm so sorry, but I'm voting y'all in. Like I said, if it was me, I wouldn't. I guess I can see that she would go in and potentially go home. Mm -hmm. So she's like, I don't want to go home. But other than that, I don't see it. But then um, annoyingly, you know, like in the confessional, like uh, she says, like there was nothing she could do to convince Jordan. It's like you didn't have to convince Jordan. Like that wasn't to the goal to convince Jordan. The goal was to have your own fucking mindset Mine. going into it. Yeah. And then and then also she says in this one too, um, it, it, she feels like a bad friend, but it isn't about friendships, is it? Yeah. And it's like yeah, it is for them though. It's yeah. not for it's not about friendships for you, but it is about all of them. They're only doing it because they're friends, and that's what's annoying. Because the rookies they come in and they're getting gaslit to believe you should turn on the people that you come in here with and like because that's the game. That. However, they never fucking do that shit. Ever they play in y'all face because, and y'all eat it up not, like idiots. If it's not about friendships. Why the fuck is Tori and Danny not going in? They're the better competitors. It wasn't about friendships. A lot of people would be out of this goddamn game by now. The fuck are y'all talking about? We, it's always about friendships, and it pisses me off because because as soon as we saw this season, the rookies were able to fill, build their own crew, and they were so intimidated. I really wish John and Grant didn't go home the way they did, like I, like because it's just like yeah. ah, like it just sucks. It just hopefully sucks. next episode is gonna be good. Okay, we get to the challenge. Let's finish it. We went to the challenge. You had to use chopsticks. One um partner had one chopstick each. You guys had to work together to carry the puzzle pieces across the uh, platform. Uh, obstacle course to the other side then you had to put the puzzle together it looked hard but hey um tristan kelly ended up losing so they're out yeah boom um Poor Kelly, kelly and, here. and we're so, down to six teams we're down to six Pretty teams. Sure the final is coming up soon child Finals coming up soon we're down to six teams looking at the teams honestly they're pretty stacked all of them are pretty i feel like they have a good a good balance I think Kiki and Darrell are a really good team. Jordan and Cass clearly are good. I think Tori and Danny are both equally good. Sarah and Theo aren't bad. Emily, yes, aren't bad. It's a cute little, it's a cute little group, in my opinion. So basically, whoever don't win, either like Kiki, Darrell, Emily, and uh, yes, next round, the other one getting brother in. That's what I'm So Kiki yeah. low key need to stop. Kiki and Emily need to get it together and stop beefing. Beefing. Like, y'all need to work together. Try to get Troy, but I mean, Casey. I mean, yeah. but he has his own. Mine, like, it's like he has his own vote. Like, the Australia really mm -hmm. needs to stick together, but basically. Like, Australia needs to come together at this point because everyone is on Team USA. Yeah. And do. you see in the preview, Sarah mentions, like, if Emily and Yes don't win, they kind of screw because she promised that she brought them in. I hope that she doesn't end up giving in and doing it, but, I mean, we'll see. Yeah, I hope so, too. Hopefully next round. Next round looked interesting. It looked like a lot of shit was going on. So, hopefully it will be interesting, but we'll see. At this point... I don't know. I'm just tired of seeing the same faces because Casey, Tori, and Jordan, they're trying their best to get all three of them to the end because they'll just split the money. And mm -hmm. that's just like they did last season. Yeah. So, and that's just weird because it's like, it's not about winning. I was telling Lee this. I was like, Tori genuinely doesn't care if Jordan, like, of course, Danny's like, well, Jordan's one of the strongest people here. He has to go. Tori doesn't care to lose to Jordan because he's going to give her half the money anyway. Yeah. So it's like for her, it means nothing. 
So even though Danny's right, they could beat them. And that's Tori why, knows like, it, I don't, like, it doesn't matter for her, which is why they need to stop bringing them bitches back. But that's the thing. It's like, it, like, why, like you bring, and bring back people. Why are you bringing back these people that you know are so closely tied to each other in these ways? Like, whatever. Girl, so we'll see who wins and who's splitting the money with who. Because I guess that's who, all the challenge who's is. Who's splitting the money with who? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's all the challenge is now. And I guess y'all love it. I don't know. Y'all eating it up. I guess they'll keep doing it. I guess y'all just love seeing friends make it, make to, it the to the end. end. I feel like y'all can just watch friends if y'all wanted to see that shit. Might as well go ahead and read it in the real world. Bring back Tori, Bananas, Josh, Tressy. All of them. Which is the Talent USA cast. If you want to see them, go ahead and watch the Talent USA. Half of them are on there. Because they will be over there. <sighs> and then the next challenge after that, they will be over there. But hey, we move. Girl, we out. Tune in next time. Hopefully some shit happens. Good luck.